YouTubers. All right, so I'm in Coinbase Pro and uh, just kind of want to go over one of my favorite things to do on the weekends, somewhat of a day trading thing. Now, this is one of my smaller accounts. I have a bigger version of this, but I figured I would keep this on the uh, the simple level. And by that, you know, making the dollar amounts simpler to understand. So I've got this portfolio inside of Coinbase Pro. I call it the 300 Club. All right. So what is the 300 Club? Well, basically, I took $300 and I bought $10 worth of 30 different coins. Okay. So 30 times 10, $300. Now, I've been doing this long term. I'm not going to tell you how much money it has made for my larger account. You can have variations of this. You could have the 500 club. You could have the 600 club where you're doing the same thing, but it's a $20 investment. Maybe even a 3000 club where you're doing 100. Maybe you do a quantity of 40, uh, but the dollar amount is, is you know, $25. Whatever it may be, you can you can figure that out, right? Now, I just started doing this one three days ago. And uh, you can see, you know, $300 is now roughly worth $312.63. So is that a big deal? Not really. But our 30 members of the 30 the 300 club, the 30 members of 300 club have now become 32 members. Okay. So let's just kind of scroll through here. I've got Doja coin, LCX token ether. If you were to count all of these, you would end up with 32. Okay. Now you see some of these are well, well, not well over 10, Ten dollars, but they're over ten dollars. A lot of these you see not doing so good, right? Down to this one. What you don't see though is all the day trading that has happened. Uh, or night, we'll call it night trading because I can only do this nighttime. We go over to orders. You see, I've got a few sell orders in here limit orders basically here's all that's filled okay over three day period now see a bunch of buys some of these have uh with limits some of these are sell limits like this one and if you do the math on this that's more than $10, right? So every time I sold it, it was some value over $10. Now, what's the fun thing about this? Well, you can determine what percentage over $10 is worth selling. Dogecoin, you know, goes up and down, up and down. Right now, it's, you know, not doing so good. It wasn't that long ago. It was, what, 27, 28, maybe even 30, whatever it got up to, and I was telling... Uh, one of my comrades, you should sell it. It's going to dump like it always does. And, uh, but they didn't listen to me. So they lost, you know, 30%. Uh, but, but what are the cool things about this? So you can determine at what point you want to sell. You could just decide you don't want to sell anything and just see how much this will go up. So I will tell you, there are some of these that have shot up that had I have not messed with it. I may have even more money in here, okay? So, uh, Mana, Gala, both of those shot up quite a bit. Now, uh, if I did that, I'd only have 30 members in the 300 Club instead of the 32. And soon, you know, it'll be 33, 34. What is the interesting thing about that? Well, you know, there's different things you can do. One would be potentially to look at each one of these as they rise and fall and try and collect more coins out of them. So Dogecoin, buy this low when it was, you know, whatever it was recently, 21, 22 cents. Sell it high, 
buy it back at a much lower price and get more coins the second time around, right? You might end up only showing $10, but the mere fact that you have more coins at some point might be of more value. You can do that with just about any one of these. Now, some of these, it doesn't. this thing doesn't work that good with $10. Ethereum, Bitcoin, where you're looking, you know, really at, at very small decimals. Uh, that one, you know, those are not as fun. I like to pick pretty much the, uh, you know, what I would call penny stocks, penny coins. The ones that are less than a uh, dollar for sure. Uh, ones that are less than 10 cents, even more. Uh, the ones that are really going to go up and down. So this is, you know, this is kind of a fun thing to do on the weekend, seeing how much, you know, how can I build this? Uh, I will tell you I've had some good results on another variation of this, a much larger variation. And to be honest with you, after uh, only a few days of doing this, and we are at, uh, what, a 4% return. If I could keep that up, you know, let's say it's 1.33 return per day. If you could keep that up for, you know, 365 days, which, you know, is not possible realistically. But if you could keep that up, this could turn into, you know, well over $1,000 easily, right? Now, what is the goal for this? I don't know. I'm just, you know, having fun with it, really. That's the thing I like about this. There's no pressure to make money, even though I'm I'm obviously making a little bit here. Um, you know, this is one of those things where if you did your research, you learned about the projects, you could probably do really good on this if you're going to hold these long term. Now, if you're just kind of screwing around day trading, you know, maybe you're not going to do as good as you could. So, uh, potentially, had I held on to this, maybe this would be worth 320. Maybe it'd only be worth 280 if I didn't sell when these things get high. But I think the biggest benefit of this, honestly, is you buy all these cryptos and you can see which one's hot right then and there. Okay. If this thing is well over $10, you know that it's hot, right? If it got to 11, 12, 13, 14, even if it went to $20, you know that it is done really good. And the way most of this crypto goes, if it were to double that fast in a day, it's going to drop off. So you could sit here and watch it. And as it peaks, you could dump it. Uh, let's look at one. You know, not necessarily a positive for this, but uh, it could be. All right, Gala is actually going the wrong direction now. So had you got into Gala when it was doing all this, and then you hit this high, and you could see that it's fallen, and you sold, and he decided not to buy back in. Maybe you bought back in here. Eventually, you might have made some money. Uh, right now, you know, it's looking like it's probably going to keep going down, in my opinion. Uh, at least we're on the weekend. Getting closer to the weekend. That's the way these things go, you know. Saturday, Sunday, they start to dump. I, I think a lot of that has to do with there aren't as many people out there doing it. But hey, thanks for checking out my video. I hope you learned something about the 300 Club. And uh, try it out. Let me know. Hopefully, uh, that's my wife coming to make me breakfast. Hey, wife.